a lot of times the what we're really trying to do is understand what the data is really trying to tell you and the best way to do this is very often is with a visualization that is really designed to do exactly that. Now where we're trying to compare the effect on the longevity of mice of different levels of red dye from no red dye on up to high doses of red dye, we're really trying to compare the effect across these different treatments of the mice and a great way to do this sort of visualization is with a box and whiskers chart. In Excel 2016 for Windows they finally have for the first time included a box and whiskers chart which is a great thing because it's a very useful visualization. I'll show you how that is done. First we have to include the data that we are wanting to have in the visualization and then we can select this particular icon which allows us to set up the box and whiskers chart. We want to include the legend down here and one of the presets is to automatically put the legend in the chart and to stre we'll stretch this bigger and just interpret this chart and sort of see what it's really telling us. One of the things that's interesting here is that in a box and whiskers chart it has information where it tells you what is the distribution of the data. Uh, the top 75th percentile is in the top portion of the box. This area down here is the 25th percentile. The middle line is the median and the X is the average or the mean. Uh, these lower fences down here, or fenders, actually tell you where the lowest non-outlier is. So the bottom roughly 25 percent of the data is in between this where the bottom of the box is and where the, this whisker is. And then you can see right here that this top whisker is uh, not really very far above the box. Now what, what can we learn from this? Well one of the things we learn is that we can see that mice that did not receive any of the red dye in their diet and mice that did not receive very much of the red dye in their diets both have very kind of narrow bands of longevity. They're all within about 20 days of their longevity but as soon as the red dye is introduced we can see that the longevity actually starts to drop and as more and more red dye is introduced in the diet there is an increased uh, sort of span of longevity where some of the mice are living not very long and a few of the mice are living uh, up here you know doing pretty actually doing pretty well so this chart really lets you see that type of thing uh, what does it mean when you've got a small sort of narrow band in this 25 percentile from the 25th to the 50th percentile of the medium well that means that 25 percent of these population is actually in this very narrow group in other words this is a concentrated sort of 25 percent whereas this range is a non-concentrated 25 percent in terms of those values really sort of distributing between about 55 and you know all the way up here to about 90 so this visualization is very handy now that we've done this we'd also like to be able to see if statistically these really are different and looking at this since there seems to be some pretty good differences here my guess is that they would actually be statistically significantly different but we can determine whether that's actually the case by using the data analysis tool pack in Microsoft Excel so I'm going to move this chart out of the way and what we're going to do is analyze this data by using the data analysis tool pack here within Microsoft Excel. And we're going to do a single factor ANOVA where we're just testing the value of one outcome across multiple groups. We'll select OK. We'll select the data area. And so we're going to select all of the area that has data including uh, these that don't have lower values in these little regions down here. Uh, we want to say that the label is in the first row. We're looking for an alpha of 0.05 and then it wants to know where the output range is so we'll go down here and we'll just click and we want this output range to start right there once we've done that then we can go ahead and run the test the test uh, is done correctly but it's a little bit busy so I'm going to reduce the amount of uh, decimal places we really don't need to see things down to the sixth and eighth decimal place so I'm going to reduce these down to a couple of decimal places so that we can our eyes can sort of quickly see what's going on a little bit better so one of the things we notice is here our average what the average are within each of these treatments and we can see that people or excuse me that mice without the red dye in them are living longer and we can see similar to what we saw down here in the chart 
we can see that we can see that these means or averages really are not that different although the medians are quite different you can see that the averages are not that different we can see the p-value is 0.02 so there's only a two percent chance that we found a difference in these just by chance by random chance and so that's only about one in fifty chance of this being you know a kind of a random fluke by just the data that we happen to select